From the Lakeville Government Channel 16 studios in downtown Lakeville, this is Ask Mystery with, uh, 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 what's his name again? <laughs> oh yeah, Q Music with Mystery. Greetings everyone and welcome to another edition of Ask Mr. E. I'm Mr. E, the world's greatest puppet detective and as in every episode of Ask Mr. E, this segment is written, <coughs> produced, <coughs> directed, <coughs> starred and peanut buttered and jellied by me, Mr. E. <laughs> hey, you'll have to excuse the uh, surroundings here. Our set is currently being constructed and next time we do an Ask Mr. E segment, we'll have a fabulous brand new set for you. But Back to our segment today. We have a great segment for you, and it's all about stash your bands. That's right, we're gonna stash everyone's bands. We're gonna go out, find a band, and put mustaches on everyone. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Isn't that good? Oh, pfft. what are you doing? Don't do that. I'm trying to play me like a drum. Anyway, we're gonna do. Oh, pfft. would you quit playing me like a bass fiddle? Anyway, what's that? You're just trying to get my attention? Wah, wah, wah. Ever try just talking to someone? Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 We're not wah, doing wah, a stash wah, your band, no? Well, what are we talking about then today? Wah, wah, wah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> We're talking about how you wash your hands and why it's important. Oh, brother, I wasn't even close. Let's just get to today's letter. And oh, wah, wah, wah. you got me on the proboscis. Thank you very much. Wah, Let's wah, get wah. to today's letter. And today's letter is written by Everett McGonagall Whipsnade. And Everett McGonagall Whipsnade writes, Dear Mr. E, why is it important to wash your hands? Well, Everett McGonagall Whipsnade, it just so happens that I, Mr. E, know people that could answer this question for you. So now, I, Mr. E, I'm gonna declare this an official case. So now, let's begin. Mr. E is not playing badminton. Where'd you get out of here? We are on the case. Ha <laughs> ha! I decided to call my good friend Kelsey, who works for Alina Medical. I told her about the question posed to me by Everett McGonagall Whipsnade regarding hand washing. Being a medical professional, she said she would help however she could. When I asked her if I could meet with her, she said, Oh, sure, that'd be great. I quickly arrived at the Alina Medical Clinic in Northern Lakeville. I was shown to an exam room where Kelsey was already waiting for me. We exchanged a few pleasantries and I got right to my question. First of all, how are germs spread? Germs are spread by touching different things like touching your toys, your mom and dad, your brother, your sister, anything that you touch can spread germs. All right, Kelsey, can you tell me how washing hands stops the spread of germs and then can we get into some basic hygiene that stops the spread of germs? Uh, you can stop the spread of germs by using hand sanitizer or hand rub, or you can wash your hands with soap and water. And so good times to wash your hands are before you're eating, when you come inside from playing, after using the bathroom. Those are all good times to wash your hands. Very good. Now, as a demonstration of how germs are spread, you have a, a little, what is that, a glow light? Yep. And something that actually pretends that it's germs. Could you spread that on your hands? Sure. And we can see how easily germs are spread. Yep, so this is a lotion that glows under a special light yep. and it can show um, what germs would look like on my hands. So, because uh, I have clean hands, of course, you know. Okay, of course, <laughs> we're in a medical facility. There so you, you can see. Okay, here, let me turn off the oh. light. Uh, so you can see the, the lotion is going under the special light and so it can kind of show you how germs are spread. So if I touch the computer mouse, you can see where my hands touched. Ew. And so that's how I would spread germs through this computer mouse, and then whoever uses this computer mouse after me would get those germs onto their hands. Ew, that's gross and disgusting. I'm not gonna touch your mouse now, no way. I wouldn't either. Now, let me turn the lights back on. <laughs> All right, Kelsey, this was some great information, but I'd actually like to see a demonstration of a correct procedure to wash hands. Of Is course. there anybody here in the office who could help me with that? Of course, we have Brittany, our hand, hand washing expert in exam room 15 all set up to show you how to wash your hands. I'll check it out. Here we go. Thanks for your help there, Kelsey. <laughs> See you later. Brittany? Brittany? Where's Brittany in here? Oh! Hi! Hey, you must be Brittany. Nice to meet you. I'm Mr. E, the world's greatest puppet detective. Nice to meet you, Reed. Hey, I was talking to Kelsey about how germs are spread and I'm really excited about trying to find out 
the best way to wash your hands, and I understand you are a hand washing expert. What is important about washing hands, Brittany? Well, first of all, we want to use soap and water. And so I'm at a sink right now, and since I have long sleeves on since it's winter time, first I want to roll up my sleeves so that I make sure I get all the way back onto my wrists. You know, there's an old show called Bullwinkle. The Bullwinkle show, he used to buckle up his sleeve. Have you ever buckled up your sleeve? I haven't. Well, it looks like you have. They have very <laughs> So first I'm going to go ahead and turn on the water and get it to a nice warm temperature. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my hands a little wet and put some soap on my hands. Then I sing the ABCs or I sing happy birthday in my head while I'm washing my hands. Yeah. And I'm making sure to get through all of my fingers, make sure I get my thumbs really good. Make sure I get up on my wrists because germs can even get up there. Can they crawl up your arms? They can. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. And then sometimes you want to scrub your nails right on your hands like that so that you get your nails clean as well. I don't have any nails. I just have fur. <laughs> hey, can I sing you, uh, We Will, We Will Rock You and I Wash My Hands? Sure. We will, we will wash you. Ha <laughs> ha, I like that one. Nice now what do you do? Once, once you've washed it real well? So then you, you scrub it off, and so you're scrubbing the germs off by using this water and scrubbing the soap off. Now can you wash your hands in snow? Nope, because it doesn't have the soap. Okay. Can you just use soap and then rinse it off in like a uh, pot? No, you don't want to use pot because it won't destroy the germs. Ah, oh, very good. And, and then, then after you're done washing, you want to make sure you use the paper towel to turn off the sink, because that way you don't spread any more germs on your hands. Ah, uh because -huh, there could be germs on the sink and on the, uh, the, uh, the handles of the water, correct? There could be, yes. Wow. That was very good. Now, now let's please show the final product to our camera operator of your clean hands. There's some clean hands. Ooh, very good. I think you missed a spot right there. No, I'm oh, just kidding. No. You did a great <laughs> job. Thanks, Brittany. Thank you. As I waved goodbye to my good friends Kelsey and Brittany, I now knew that I, Mr. Reed, the world's greatest puppet detective, knew everything I needed to know about washing hands and keeping germs away. <laughs> well, folks, I want to thank all my friends here at Alina Health for helping me discover the correct way to wash hands and to keep germs away. So now, I, Mr. Reed, the world's greatest puppet detective, officially declare this case closed. <laughs> we'll see you next time, folks, on Ask Mr. Reed.